was days away from dying when a medical miracle gave him a second chance at life with a battery-operated artificial heart. Take a look at how cutting-edge medicine gave him a chance and how his powerful spirit gave him a miracle. Look at this. James Quinn is the fifth person to receive the newest medical miracle, a self-contained artificial heart. Doctors say James was just days or even hours away from death when he underwent the 10-hour surgery. There actually wasn't much of a decision to make. Uh, to me, it was either do or die. His failing heart was replaced with a two-pound plastic titanium artificial heart that pumps blood. It is fully enclosed in the patient's body and runs on a battery pack the patient wears. I think it's miraculous. Um, I, one, of, one of the most thrilling moments for me was um, when I actually put my hand on his chest and you can feel it, it pulsating. It's been more than a month since James has had his surgery and he says he's feeling strong. I want to get back to my front porch. Uh, <laughs> I want to get back to my, my grandchildren. You know, it, it's just so miraculous and marvelous. Joining us now by satellite from Hanneman University Hospital is James Quinn, his wife Irene, and Dr. Lewis Samuels, the surgeon who performed this transplant. Well, we, I bet you're glad to be alive here and on the Oprah show. We, we applaud you for your great success with this heart thus far. What does your new heart feel like, James? Uh, it feels just as normal as yours does. You don't feel a difference in, in your old heart, in this new heart, artificial heart? No, I don't. I mean, uh, my rhythm is a lot stronger, um, which makes me uh, a lot stronger. Uh, all I have to do is uh, get my, the rest of my body in tune, you know what I mean? And hey, I'll be just like anybody else. So, do you see yourself living a long life with this heart? Well, I see myself living as long as God wants me to live. I would like to speak to your doctor a moment. What made him a candidate? What made him a candidate? He has severe heart failure that was um, not responding to every single medical therapy we had at our disposal. And the only thing left for him was to try this artificial technology. And so, normally, your expectation of where he would be in his progress, your, your expectations have been exceeded? Is that what you're saying? He's far exceeded my expectations. I, I'm amazed how uh, rapidly he's recovered, how strong he is at this, uh, at this stage of his recovery. I, I never would have expected it this soon, which uh, leads towards some of the other things we may get into, but uh, it's, it's remarkable. I, I'm very impressed. So the heart is actually made of what? It's made of plastic and metal, a metal called titanium, and it has within it uh, plastic valves that mimic the natural heart valves. It has components that drive the system and control the system, and all of it's run by electricity under the skin with an external power supply that transmits energy across the skin making it very um, possible for patients to become mobile, to, to conceivably go home and lead a relatively normal life. So he's, uh, James, you're carrying like a little battery pack? Do you have a little battery pack attached to you? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. And we all want to know, what kind of batteries do you use? <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. Because that is a battery you need to depend on. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, James. Irene, you say he was stronger. You could tell he was stronger within days after this operation? Yes. Very strong. I didn't think he was really going to make it. It's a miracle. It is a medical miracle. Thank you, James, Irene, and Dr. Samuels. We, we pray for your continued healing. Coming up, his Parkinson's disease was so advanced that he was completely immobile. Next, the medical miracle that helped him walk and talk again. We'll be right back.